Imagine this, you're walking through a bustling city surrounded by traffic, exhaust, UV rays, and microscopic pollutants clinging to your skin. You go home, wash your face, and wonder, what's all of this doing to my skin long term? And what if I told you that there is a leafy green vegetable from Korea, yes, a vegetable, that might be able to help protect your skin from all of this? Today, we will be discussing the latest research about this exciting Korean plant called Crepidiastrum denticulatum, or Yongia denticulatum. Is this the next great thing or just a hype? Welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Zizian, a board-certified general surgeon and an IFM-certified functional medicine physician. On this channel, I share health tips on skin health, food and supplements, functional medicine, surgery, and the latest medical research to help you feel your best. And if that sounds good, please like, share with your friends and family, and subscribe. Today's story starts with a humble plant, a Korean wild herb called Sumbagui, known scientifically as Crepidiastrum denticulatum or Yongia denticulata, and it's gaining attention in skincare. It's not exactly a household name yet. Traditionally, it's eaten in Korea as a vegetable. But recently, scientists began studying it for something far more unexpected. And the link is in my description of this video. It's ability to protect our skin from pollution, sun damage, and aging. And now it's actually being added to skincare products with bold claims that it can guard your skin from environmental stress, help with collagen production, and reduce skin inflammation. Sounds too good to be true? Well, let's rewind a bit to the science. A few years ago, researchers were screening plant extracts to see which ones could switch on a process called autophagy, which basically is a cell death. And in a skin context, it's the way of skin taking out its cellular trash. And this process becomes sluggish with age and pollution, leading to wrinkles, dullness, and damage. Among all the plants tested, Crepidiastrum denticulatum stood out. It lit up autophagy like no others and didn't harm the skin cells in the process. And that got researchers curious. Could this little-known plant help skin recover from daily pollution exposure? So, they ran more experiments exposing skin cells to UV rays, heavy metals, and to urban pollutants. And guess what? When they added the plant extract, it reduced the damage. It even helped increase collagen and calm inflammation. But the story doesn't end with the lab dishes. In another study, scientists exposed this plant to different levels of sunlight. And instead of breaking down, the plant actually ramped up its antioxidant production. It produced more carotenoids and polyphenols, the kind of natural compounds that fight free radicals, and help protect skin cells. And then came the aging studies. In skin cells exposed to UV light, just like what happens when you're out in the sun, the plant's extract reduced collagen-destroying enzymes and actually helped the cells to make more collagen. It also activated the body's own antioxidant system and toned down inflammation. And that's a lot of biological backup for something that started as a salad. And here's the twist. The benefits don't stop with the skin. In animal studies, the extract helped protect eye nerves in glaucoma, improved liver function in alcohol-damaged rats, and even reduced kidney inflammation. And these aren't small effects. And they suggest that this plant contains compounds that truly work on the cellular level. So with all this promise, is this the next big thing in the skin care? And here's my honest take. It's very exciting, but it's early. Most of the evidence comes from uh, lab and animal research, and that doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It just means that we don't fully know yet how well it works when it, it applied to real human skin over time. And still, this plant is already being used in high-end creams and marketed for anti-aging and pollution protection. And it makes sense because the biology is very compelling. So bottom line, Crepidiastrum denticulatum isn't some miracle ingredient, but it is a promising one. And if you're using it and your skin likes it, great. But don't throw out your current regimen, especially sunscreen. Don't do that yet. As always, smart skincare isn't about chasing trends. It's about understanding your skin, supporting it daily, and choosing ingredients with real science behind them. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. And if you like skin topics, check out my book, The Clear Skin Diet, Unlocking the Secret Link Between Food Sensitivities and Skin Health. It's about how various foods can affect your skin and cause variety of skin conditions by changing your gut microbiome, immune system, and hormones. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.